All right, everyone, welcome back to the show on a pretty muted Saturday for cryptocurrency, but we do have some important crypto news to share with you. So let's go ahead and start out with this bit here. You can see the title, JP Morgan sees Bitcoin, not gold as the new inflation hedge. This is a little bit of an overstatement here by the Bazinga reporting. If we scroll down, you can see that the quote that they're primarily looking at, this is from a JP Morgan note, and it said, institutional investors appear to be returning to Bitcoin perhaps seeing it as a better inflation hedge than gold. So this doesn't mean that Bitcoin is a better inflation hedge than gold. It just means that it's looking more and more likely that people are more interested in going back to Bitcoin than gold. So perhaps it is. So the question remains, is Bitcoin a better inflation hedge than gold? Well, there's some positives and negatives to it. Of course, probably the biggest positive to Bitcoin is the fact that it's not as cumbersome as gold is. I mean, think about it. You got to carry it around. You got to store it and you got to store it physically. With Bitcoin, you don't need to do that. The negative to Bitcoin is that it's not as proven as gold is yet, but that's not a problem because historically speaking, whenever we see uh, moves like this, where we're getting into different types of technology, new currencies or stores of investments, it just takes time before the world recognizes that this new thing is a good thing. And a good thing for Bitcoin is a good thing for cryptocurrency. Next bit of news, and this is for those of you who are Dogecoin lovers, you can see the title there, AMC Theaters rolls out its first phase of Dogecoin payments on its platform. And this is coming after the initial reports that AMC was in fact going to initiate cryptocurrency into AMC theaters by the end of 2021, and Dogecoin was not included in that list. However, after the CEO went off onto Twitter and said, hey, do you guys really want Dogecoin to be uh, used as a means of transactions here at AMC? He got the, the most response ever on his Twitter account, and overwhelmingly people said yes. So here we are at Adam Aaron's Twitter account. Again, he is the CEO of AMC theaters. And if we scroll down getting to his Dogecoin tweet, you can see how much interaction he gets on his normal posts 469 comments 2.4 thousand shares 10.6 thousand uh, loves their likes uh, and you can see this one 299 1.6 but look at the one with dogecoin 1.7 thousand comments 8,000 shares, 21,000 uh, likes on it. And so he's getting much more interaction with his Dogecoin tweets than anything else. And this was the news that he shared. Huge news, Dogecoin fans, as we work to accept online crypto payments, you can now buy AMC Theater digital gift cards up to $200 per day with Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies using BitPay Wallet. So this is basically confirmation that AMC Theaters is in fact going to initiate cryptocurrency payments with many of the popular cryptocurrencies, but also including and foremost, very important for those of you Dogecoin lovers, Dogecoin is in fact included in this list. Next bit to share with you as reported by Fortune here, there's the title, the stocks and crypto rally is on pause ahead of today's momentous jobs report. Of course, that jobs report was yesterday, but was it momentous? Did it impact cryptocurrency? How could it impact cryptocurrency? Well, as reported by CNBC News, September's job creation comes up short with a gain of just 194,000 jobs. Eh, ultimately, it doesn't mean anything. The Dow Jones was expecting about 500,000 jobs to be created. If we scroll down here, you can see the chart. This is the U.S. job growth primarily in around the last almost year, not quite. And that big job decline there was when a lot of the lockdowns went into place. And of course, we've had job creation since then. This is one of the reasons, by the way, that they're not going to have another stimulus check. I still get people who want me to do stimulus check videos. And there's a lot of individuals out there who are just pumping these videos out, multiple ones, day after day, when they, in fact, know there are no more stimulus checks coming. And one of the main reasons for that is this right here. The employment rate fell to 4.8 percent. No stimulus checks are going out to the American people with an unemployment rate of 4.8 percent. And yes, I am aware that are, there are different ways to calculate unemployment than the ones that they are using here. But it doesn't matter if that 4.8 number, which is the normally accepted way to do calculations, whether you have one political party or the other in is the one that is accepted and there's no stimulus checks going out. How about that crypto mining? How is it going in the United States of America, especially after China decided to crack down on it and basically outlaw it as the communist government that they are. You can see here on this map, if we blow it up, New York, Georgia, and Texas are winning the way when it comes to crypto mining. You can see the title there, US hash rate, uh, share by state at Foundry USA pool. So the hash rate is basically the speed by which miners mine cryptocurrency. In this situation, on this map, it basically looks like it's the percentage of by which mining is actually occurring in each state. I wonder if this is going to continue to hold up as the government pushes more regulation and basically trying to get more money out of 
cryptocurrency and the miners. If they do, I bet you that these miners are going to start moving to states where they can get better tax benefits. Of course, federally, uh, no matter where they go, they're going to have to deal with that. But states might in be instituting some of their own strict regulations as well. Of course, New York is going to be one of those states that are going to want to get their hands into the pockets of miners eventually as the years go by. So I, I think we're going to start to see this shift towards lower tax states as well. And let's go ahead and finish things up on this report by Coindesk. You can see the title there. The White House is considering an executive order on crypto oversight by a report. And this is some scary news because a lot of people do not want the government oversight over cryptocurrency. They want to keep their hands off. Laissez-faire economics, right? And so Elon Musk even came out in a report earlier this way. It wasn't really a report. It was more of an interview. And he said that he thought that the government could slow down cryptocurrency, but not destroy it. So is this the beginnings of that? Well, not really. This is just funding to put together a team to look into cryptocurrency. How should the government handle cryptocurrency? What kind of oversights should they, in fact, institute? And so you shouldn't be worried about this. I don't think that the United States government is going to ban cryptocurrency. In fact, Jerome Powell, who's the chair of the Federal Reserve, already came out and said that the United States has no decision to do that in the future. However, there are some people who are still worried that the United States government might formulate their own digital cryptocurrency for the country. But there's some problems with this, and actually one really big problem. And it's the biggest problem of all. It's the reason people love cryptocurrency, because it's decentralized. No one's in charge of it. No central organization fully controls cryptocurrency, depending on what coin you are invested in or you use. However, if any government creates their own digital currency, it will fail that initial test, and it will be completely centralized and subject to the whims of that government, which means that nobody, at least anyone intelligent, is going to want to get involved in it unless the governments force it to happen. That is a bigger problem that we haven't yet had to step into. It might come into the future, but I don't think we're anywhere near that time period. So in the meantime, the United States government is basically going to look into how can we ensure that there's security within cryptocurrency and we get our money from it. If they adopt it smartly into the United States society, I think this can overwhelmingly be a good thing for cryptocurrency and not a negative. As people begin to see, they're not banning it. They're accepting it. They're adopting it. It's within. Yes, we got to give up a little bit more of our money to the government, but overwhelmingly, it will cause things to steady off and we'll begin to see our smooth and steady increase to where cryptocurrency numbers should be. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thank you for coming along with me. I will catch you next time.